On any European river cruise, the focus of the trip is always the activities and sights on shore. But when you're traveling on the Uniworld Joie de Vivre, it's uh, pretty hard to ignore the ship. The Uniworld imagines its ships as floating boutique hotels, so no two are alike. Each ship has its own design theme and color palette that's intended to reflect the area in which it sails. There is original art and antiques on board the ships, and on the Joie de Vivre we were able to see an original Picasso up close. This is way better than lining up in a museum. Uniworld is a family-owned company and is currently being overseen by the mother-daughter team of B and Tony Tolman. Like most European river ships, there are four decks, with most of the indoor guest amenities on decks two and deck three. The staterooms are concentrated in the back half of the vessel, along with the gym, the spa, and clothes. Clothes at the very back of Deck 3 is a convertible space that's sometimes a bar, sometimes an indoor pool and spa known as Club Esprit, and sometimes a movie theater. At the very front of Deck 3 is Le Bistro, which as the name would imply is a casual restaurant with a French theme. Also on Deck 3, the main lounge area known as the Salon Toulouse is where we were treated to different entertainment every night. Right below the lounge is La Restaurant Pigalle, uh, the main dining room on the ship. Bonjour. Deck 2 has a few passenger cabins as well as a self-serve laundry room and the wine cellar, also known as La Cave de Vin, where you can help prepare a seven-course meal for a smaller group. <laughs> so this is what it's like when you go through a lock right outside your window. We also got the opportunity to visit the presidential suite, because you know we would never actually be able to stay in there, with a separate bedroom, a television that recesses into the ceiling, a vanity and a soaker tub, as well as a fully stocked bar. Uniworld even provides bicycles if you want to go for a spin in your spare time. The main atrium area has a glass elevator with a water feature, as well as the hotel desk, the program director's desk, as well as the main entry and exit areas of the ship. So for our mobility challenge, yes, this is how we get to the sun deck. Finally, our stateroom. We were in a French balcony room on this cruise uh, near the back of deck two. So one of the fun parts about the Uniworld ship is they gave me some toys to play with. So with this one, so I can open the curtains. Let's see if I can get it to work. There we go, huh? You don't even have to open your own curtains. And the shears. How's that? And as you can see, we've got a lovely uh, picture of a brick wall here, which is one of the things that happens on river cruises. We're in Rouen today, and the tide is low, so this is our view. So people should be aware that this sometimes happens. And I can even open this window up. This is the other toy they gave me to play with. So there we go. Take a look at that. I might not ever leave the room. Oh. Ooh. And there you have Rouen, France, or at least a brick wall in Rouen, France. <laughs>